Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Spring 60s on the board for Valley locations today for this final day of winter made it up to 62 in Ontario, 61 for Boise, Caldwell, Nampa, 60 degrees for Twin Falls and even close to 50 for Stanley and Haley today, 45 for a high in McCall. So yes, looking like spring today could have done with a little more sunshine and of course that strengthening uh, March sun angle can make our 60 degrees feel a little closer to 65 or even feel a little closer to 70 if you're in that direct sunlight. Of course, pack on the SPF, but we didn't have the sunshine today. We had a great deal of cloud cover. At least the wind was calm. We'll be trading the sunshine for tomorrow, but also getting a whole lot of wind with it and cooler temperatures for the first day of spring. So you take a look at uh, the colder air that's moving in from the northwest. You can clearly see where that cold front is that will be sweeping through the region tonight and it'll be bringing the seasons change winds of change for the day tomorrow. Scattered showers, it's possibilities still through the rest of this evening. I think more likely as you get up into the West Central Mountains into the Central Mountains for the Treasure Valley, though, probably our best shot to catch in on a quick little sprinkle or a shower. Even an isolated rumble of thunder would be around the 10 p.m. hour. I'm looking at the window between 9 p.m. and about midnight after midnight that chance kind of dwindles for the Treasure Valley. It continues for the Magic Valley through the early hours of tomorrow morning and Sunday. How appropriate we get the sunshine back. But as I mentioned before, we have much cooler temperatures and a very blustery wind out of the northwest. It'll make it feel a little more like winter conditions rather than the kickoff of spring, even though the vernal equinox is tomorrow. Wind gusts for the Boise area. I'm looking at the potential for wind gusts to get up to around 35 miles per hour for Boise, but then you get points south and east of there down through South Central Idaho into the Magic Valley. You know the winds can really whip in that region. Wind advisory in effect until 6 p.m. for the potential for the gust to get up to around 50 miles per hour. And I think the strongest wind probably focused on the first half of the day, calming a touch, but still quite windy into tomorrow afternoon. Magic Valley forecast tomorrow. I show you these numbers, but do keep in mind with a blustery northwest wind, It'll probably feel five to even 10 degrees cooler than those temperatures read up into the central mountains. Scattered rain and snow showers really focused on the very early hours of the morning, clearing up for the afternoon. West central mountains breaking out to sunshine for the afternoon and evening hours. We'll call it a partly cloudy day for our mountain locations. Mostly sunny skies in store for the Treasure Valley tomorrow. And again, it's all about the winds of change. Seasons change for the first day of spring. You'll notice it through this week in the mountain locations. Locations. Not really any great chances to get any more spring snow in the higher elevations, but you see how the temperatures warm. These these are, are this is a look I should say at the mountain valley highs, making it into the 50s. So you know that it's going to really be warming up for us as we get into. Uh, into the valley locations and especially that's the case for next weekend. Take a look at Saturday. I'm seeing the potential for the temperatures to actually even reach into the upper 70s. So we'll keep a close eye on that spring warm up that could be on the way. And uh, it looks like spring break weather is really going to shape up for us, Shira. I really like that 70 forecast. Thanks, Bree. <laughs> we'll come